So in this video, we're going to talk about the innate immune response to extracellular bacteria. So we're going to use the example that we hit a nail in our big toe, and unfortunately on this nail there were some bacteria sticking, and so we introduced now the bacteria into deeper tissue. So the first question is now, which cells are going to recognize this bacteria, respond to it, and initiate an immune response? Well, there are two guards stationed in our deeper tissue. Number one guard is the macrophage, and then number two guard is the dendritic cell. We're going to talk first about the macrophage. The macrophage, macro is Greek for big, and phage is Greek for eater, is a big eater. So as the name already implies, it's very good in eating up stuff, in phagocytosis. So we want to give the macrophage the slogan, eat and call because it eats up the stuff, and then it's also very good in calling. Calling its friend from the nearby road, meaning the nearby blood vessel, to get to the site of infection and help clear the infection. So how does the macrophage call? Well, it's equipped with so-called pattern recognition receptors that are abbreviated with PRRs. There are toll-like receptors, TLRs, not-like receptors, NLRs, or rig-like receptors, RLRs, and they all can recognize pathogens. So once the pathogen are recognized, why are these PRRs? The PRR sends a signal to the nucleus, and then the macrophage starts producing pro-inflammatory cytokines and chemokines. So Pro-inflammatory cytokines, the major ones are TNF and IL-1, and as the name already implies, they trigger inflammation. What does that mean? That means they set the stage that other cells can arrive at the site of infection and help clear the infection. Pro-inflammatory cytokines are, for example, triggering arteriolar dilation, as you can see here. So there's going to be more blood flow to the site of infection, and there are more cells arriving at the site of infection. They are also triggering endothelial cell constriction, so there will be gaps in the endothelium, so it's easier for cells to get into the sites of infection as well. And then the macrophage is also producing chemokines, like CXCL8, and CXCL8 is the major chemoattractant for neutrophils. The neutrophils are one of the friends of the macrophage that are called in this situation. And the neutrophil is circulating in the blood. It's on call. And the neutrophil slogan is eat and die. Because the neutrophil is also very good in phagocytosing, but it has a very short lifespan. It dies within one to three days. So the neutrophil uses this roll, stop, exit strategy to get to the site of infection, then helps phagocytosing bacteria and then eventually is going to die off. Now let's talk about the other guard that is stationed in the tissue, that's the dendritic cell. The dendritic cell is also equipped with pattern recognition receptor and recognizes bacteria very similar to the macrophage. However, its response is slightly different. The slogan of the dendritic cell is eat, show, and run. Because the dendritic cell is also a good phagocytotic cell, it eats up the bacteria, but then the dendritic cell likes to show what it has eaten. It shows it via the MHC class two molecule. It's an antigen presenting cell, shows the stuff that it has eaten, and then it's gonna go run off via the afferent lymph vessel to the lymph node to initiate an adaptive immune response. So the dendritic cell is going to personally go to the lymph node, present its antigen, and tries to find a T cell that recognizes this antigen via the T cell receptor. This T cell is eventually going to become a T helper cell and will help a B cell that also recognized the antigen via the B cell receptor and presented it via MHC class 2 to become a plasma cell. And then the plasma cell is going to start producing antibodies. And those antibodies 
will eventually gonna show up in the blood because they are draining back via the lymph, via the thoracic duct into the blood. And then they just gonna exit at the site of infection because this is the only place where they can get out. Here is active inflammation, so the endothelial cells have constricted, there are gaps, and that's how the antibodies can get to the site of infection and help clear the infection. Other molecules that are found circulating in the blood are the complement proteins. The complement proteins also just exit because here are gaps in the endothelial cells and that's where they can exit and enter the site of infection and help clear the infection. This concludes the video on the key players of the innate immune response to extracellular bacteria.